Hello folks, welcome along to A Taste of Country with Lucia Butler. I've got Paul Kelly here beside me, a lovely young gentleman from Donegal. Paul, welcome. Lucia, how are you? It's great to meet you. How are you keeping? Actually, not too bad, Paul. Always make time for you. That's great. Yeah, you're great. The last time we met you in London was brilliant. Yeah. Paul, tell the listeners a little bit about yourself. You're from Donegal. Where in Donegal? I'm from a small village. It's called Pettigo and it's on the border of Fermanagh and Donegal. Half of the village is in Fermanagh, which is in Northern Ireland. The other half is in Donegal, which is in Southern Ireland. And basically that's where I live. That's where I was born and reared and I'm there since. And how many is in your family, Paul? Uh, there's there's four children in the family. Um, there's two boys, myself and another girl. None of them really do me anything with music. Only my sister is a good singer. She can play the guitar but will not do it and has no interest in it. However, my mother does play in a band and it was her I started out with when I was roughly 11, 12 years of age. So your mum sang on her own, performed in a band or on her own and used to get you up against your will or delighted to run up on the stage? Well... The way it was, Lucy, it was when I was going to secondary school, I was 12, and the fella she was in a two-piece band with was going off with a bad back, and I joined her band then at that, so I started secondary school and joined a two-piece band, basically, in around the same time. I have been in, I was in that band with her for probably four or five years, and we're just doing the local circuit around Donegal, Fermanagh, Tyrone, Sligo, doing the pubs, dance halls, and stuff like that, you know? And I believe you'd done a duet with your mum. I'd done a duet. There's two duets on my new album, yes. There's one duet with my mother, Baby Ride Easy. It's a fast song. There's also a duet on the album with Georgette Jones, which is probably a lot to talk about as well. Mm-hmm, it is. We'll come back to that now in one minute. But yeah. uh, the name of the band with your mum, Paul, what was that? What was the name of the band? Oh, we were called Country Roads. And again, we were local. It was in the local circuit. And that must have been a blessing. I know it was very sad for the man that had the bad back, but really he'd done you a favour, am I right? Well, he did, but there was loads of late, late nights too and homework and getting out from playing and getting up in the morning, which wasn't easy at all. But yeah, it was great to, great to get out there and do it, you know. Did you like to sing in from a very young age? I will have been singing from... I know a teacher of mine had me singing in school from a start at school, so I've been singing from as long as I can remember. And the school concerts, would you always kind of get the main role? I always did the school concerts, I did school plays, and I've done a musical in my time as well, and I've been just singing all flat out since early and years. Paul, would you have run around the kitchen with the sweeping brush or anything, pretending, when you were very, very young now I'm talking about, pretending it was the microphone? None of that crack. I don't sing in the shower, I don't sing in the bath, I don't sing around the house. I don't know, it's just not me. I don't sing into a brush. <laughs> Nothing at all like that. So I don't know where where this has all come out of, but no, I have no interest in doing any kind of things like that at all. I don't just, know why. Just the real McCoy. Just the real McCoy, yeah. And um, at what stage did you know that you wanted to go out and sing for yourself and perhaps um, have your own band which you now have formed well I was I played with my mother for two or three years maybe four years and then I've been in a wedding band since that and it's just something I always wanted to do for myself was have my own band the country country band and basically I don't know what the urge came I'll tell you it's when Andy and myself started writing songs together and I thought that's Andy Cox now of course oh that's sorry sorry listeners that's Andy Cox who is my little neighbour, number one, and who co-writes all the original songs, myself and himself. And he's, be, he's the band manager as well now at the minute, so he's a lot of things going on at the moment between the two of us. Um, and a lovely fella he is, isn't he? Yeah, and he's sound, he gets on well with everybody, you know, so, and then he puts in a lot of effort, and it pays, it's going to pay off in the long run, you know. Paul, when you were growing up, who who would have been your inspiration music-wise as you were growing up? Was it the American artists or the Irish artists or a bit of both? A bit of both, really. Gene Watson would have been the American, but basically it was Mick Flavin, Philomena and Susan. Have to say, we used to have a, a kid. It was a really old record player. Now I never actually heard it working. The vinyl but, records. Yes, but I never heard it really playing much. But it was always called Susan because there used to be a record of Susan McCann stuck in it all the time. So that's that's where the name of the record player came out. It was called Susan. Absolutely fantastic, isn't yeah. it? It's funny all these stories that you'd hear, but there'd be many stories to be told. Now I know you've done some um, songwriting. You're talking about songwriting there, um, Annie. You're good on the music. 
music to it or are you good on the lyrics or a bit of both? Yeah, well, I'll tell you, Andy, Andy Cox, which is the band manager, he would do most of the lyrics and then I sits, me sits to sit behind the piano then I sort of put an, a song to these lyrics, get an air and try and make it into a song from like maybe a poem into a song and it's very very time consuming like for so in love the very first song we ever done I remember sitting down at the piano one night and it's in my hallway and looking around in the morning and uh, it was bright so I had sat all night basically at it you know which has happened more than once writing songs you know I know Paul it's a lot of hard work but it does pay off indeed doesn't it yeah, it's great. When you see the reaction from people at the gigs, then it's great, you know, and that's, that's what it's all about, you know. And I know as Paul out there, you're able to play the guitar there and the accordion. Yeah, well, I actually was a good accordion player. I think you were. I mean, I heard you there tonight at your gig. Very good. Yeah, I would, I would have been a better. I let it slip this last while because I've been playing the keyboard in the wedding band and the guitar was what I started off with when I was five years of age. So, yeah, I can, I can handle them to a certain certain extent, yes. Good man, Paul, that's what I like to hear. Now, um, going back to your album, I know you have an album out there, Paul. Yeah, the album, there is... Uh, it's Recently uh, brought out, of course. It's, it's only a few months since we launched it there. Yes, it's a 12-track album. There's five original songs on it and six good country classic covers. Mm-hmm. So and you got that recorded in? I recorded that with Jonathan Owens in Spout Studios in Granard, which is probably the best man in Ireland at the minute, at, if not the best at the country, best across the country music recording. You know, and he's a great producer, a great arranger, and he does a lot of good stuff. We play that uh, album a lot there on Irish Country Music Radio, Paul, and there's a great production there. He done a fantastic job on I have to say, and lovely songs on it, great selection. Yeah, the song selection was took a lot of changing and chopping and changing. The original songs weren't too bad. It was then the other ones that picking, do you do this or do you do that? And well, it came together. We're very happy with it, and I'm still happy with it. And then that's my first album, and I hope ever, all your listeners like it. Uh, of course, and you done a duet going back there to the wonderful Georgia Joan, Ta- Georgia Jones, Tammy Winnett's daughter and George Jones' daughter. Of course, you done a duet with her. Yeah, that was uh, that was probably the second or third or song we ever recorded. Uh, Andy again, the band manager, met her at one of her gigs, and there was an after party. However, he got into it, I don't know. That's Andy. Yeah, we'll not ask questions, but um, yeah, she he said, "Would you like to do this original song with this new country artist in from Donegal, from Ireland?" And at that stage, I'd say Georgette said, "Well, listen, I'll do it," and give him his email address and her phone phone number, and probably thinking just to get rid of that fella. But when she heard the song, she just <laughs> fell for. It, you know. <laughs> yeah, but you've done a great job and the name of the song is? Lost Love. Yeah. And it's a duet it's, it's what you call maybe a proper duet where we can sing line for line instead of singing a verse or chorus and then changing key and singing a verse and a chorus that, that's the song Lost Love, it's a slow song but it's, it's like you sing it line, line she sings a line, I sing a line, vice mm-hmm. versa and it, it's worked out well it's a lovely song and it's getting a lot of airplay as well very good, very good. And I know you have a uh, Leah single out there, July, and you done a you done a video to it there. Paul, tell us a bit about that. That was uh, yeah, that was an original song by Monday. It's obviously not fully a country song, even though we we put a fair country twist on it. But yeah, we done a we done that again with Jonathan. He put a, made a good production on that, and we did a, just a video or DVD locally last week. Give it and it's, it's on YouTube now, and it got. It got nearly 3,000 hits in the first three days. There's a lot of local people on it, which I like to do because then you get loads of views and there's just um, there's nice some nice people on it as well. You should if you if you YouTube it as Paul Kelly July, you'll see it and mm-hmm. hope, hope you'll like it. But Paul, going back to that, it's lovely to bring the local lads into things like that because these are the people that would have heard you and supported you maybe as you were growing up. All the local lads in your own area. Yeah, that's the way. Like. And as I say, like we all grew up, we all started somewhere. On my launch night, I was I was depending all on local people, and 
as far as I can see, you know, you know, it's, it's grand going away to do gigs in different places, but it's it's hard to beat doing the local ones, you know. But you know everybody, and it's just, it's just a different bonding with them and all that, you know. And it's good mm. fun. But at your launch night, going back to that, you had a fair few people at that one. Yeah, we had a fair few people at that. I even talked to a few people tonight that came just before twelve, and unfortunately they didn't get in because the doors were closed. But we had a very good night, and uh, again. We had a lot of people. I spoke to a girl in Limerick tonight that was there before 12 and she got in. I was speaking to other people that were there just before 12 that didn't get in from Limerick as well. But listen, that's the way it goes. And so apologies for that now, folks. Oh, definitely apologies for anybody that made it there and didn't get in. But listen, we had a brilliant night and that's what it's all about. And Paul, all those uh, videos, you've done three videos up to date? I have done three videos. Yeah, the very first one I did was with Mick Bracken for the first song I ever did was So In Love, which again got loads of hits on YouTube. The second one I did was for The Hooli, the song The Hooli, which was recorded live at the seed, my CD launch. And this one now is July, which was recorded, li- not live, but it was recorded in the, my local village. And on the beach, I see. And on the beach, yeah, down in Rostyla Bay, more of a beach down there in Donegal as well, yeah. Isn't that? And you know when you were doing that, did you get any attention? Did any people come up and think, wow, we've got music going on up here? Well, actually, uh, Lucia, it was. There was a couple of people walking a dog, but it was actually... When you view the video, it was a kind of a cold enough day, so it wasn't a lot of people around the beach. But listen, we en- we enjoyed it, and we were there a few hours, and it was good crack. And Paul, <clears throat> any plans for the future? Any? Um, I'm sure a lot more songwriting is going to take place, and maybe on your next album there'll be loads of original songs as well. Yeah, well, the next single's more than likely going to be an original song. Myself and Andy was working on two songs during the week. And it's more than likely going to be an original song, but there's just so much work with an original song that with starting up the band now this last few months and rehearsing and being away gigging and being sleeping during the day when everybody else is up and about, it just takes a lot of time and a lot of effort too. So that's why you don't answer the phone when I ring you during the day, is it? <laughs> Sometimes, well definitely before 12, you're not getting an answer from me anyway, but yeah, that's probably the reason that it's just too time consuming. Uh, you'll, always, time consuming yeah. you'll always answer the phone, um, Paul. Mm. And I heard the band there for the first time tonight myself, absolutely fantastic band you got there behind you, so well done guys. Yeah, we, we uh, say we're only four weeks out, but we've got a good sound system, a good lighting system, and we've good guys in the band, and that's what it's all about, and we bond well. and Good teamwork. Good teamwork, yeah, and everybody plays a part, it's not just me, you know, so everybody's getting on well, which is very important. Mm. And Paul, I know you're on Facebook there, Paul Kelly, you have a website as well, if people want to get in touch with you? Yeah, it's www.paulkellymusic.com, uh, if you want to like my page on Facebook, is Paul Kelly Music or info at Paul Kelly Music will get me by email. Well done. And is there anyone you want to say thank you to before we finish up the interview? I just want to thank all the DJs on all radio stations that play my music. Should it be online stations? Should it be local radio stations? Irish country music, definitely. All the media channels like of on 191 on Showcase all them that play me music, I just want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart and last but not least, thank everybody that has come to the gig so far and we look forward to seeing you soon. And of course to those who request your music as well on the listeners Yeah, the, all the listeners that request the music because they are the most important people, even though we all are important as well, but like